Taiwan reunification is one of Xi Jinping's top priorities as it is directly related to his succession to a third term. But Russia's invasion of Ukraine has given him and the Chinese Communist regime a brutal reality check. She once called Putin his best friend. What has he learned from his friend and his war? With the CCP's 20th National Congress, the event that will decide Xi's third term being only a few months away, What's his new strategy for Taiwan while holding on to power? Hello, welcome to Lei's Real Talk, I'm Lei. In one of my earlier videos, I talked about why Taiwan reunification is so important to Xi Jinping. It's the reason for justifying his third term at the party's upcoming National Congress that's held every five years. But the Russia-Ukraine war didn't turn out the way Xi had anticipated. His political enemies inside and outside China are turning his support for Putin. Russia's unsuccessful military attempt and international sanctions into ammunitions to oppose him and his third term. In addition, the failed zero-COVID policy and the sluggish Chinese economy are also working against him. She is caught in a grave dilemma. If he gives up or postpones the Taiwan reunification, he will lose the very reason to justify a third term. But if he attacks Taiwan, he will meet with strong international sanctions and possible military confrontation, which could mean the end of the CCP. After watching his friend Putin struggle during the war, she may have developed a new strategy. He may do what Putin did for Donbas by taking over parts of Taiwan as step one in the reunification. Right before the war, Putin declared the independence of the two breakaway regions of Donetsk and Luhansk, known collectively as Donbas. After failing to occupy the Ukrainian capital, the Russians retreated to focus on Donbas in eastern Ukraine. Xi Jinping may do the same. Instead of attacking the main Taiwan island, which he doesn't feel confident doing right now, he may declare sovereignty over some smaller Taiwanese islands in the Taiwan Strait and take them over. Or he may claim sovereignty over all of Taiwan, but use military force to invade only a few small islands. And the two islands at the top of the list for the CCP to take over are Jinmen and Mazu. Being over 100 miles away from Taiwan, Jinmen and Mazu Islands are only a few miles from the mainland Chinese coastline. Jinmen, formerly known as Kamoi, is at the entrance to the port city of Xiamen, while Mazu is just five miles off China's coast, near Fuzhou. When Jiang Kai-shek and the Nationalist Army were defeated by the Communists and retreated to Taiwan in 1949, he and his troops fortified and controlled Jinmen and Mazu Islands. A few days after the CCP established the People's Republic of China, Mao Zedong ordered a military attack to take back Jinmen in October 1949. But Jiang Kai-shek's troops repelled the communists, and the island remained in Taiwan's territory. The CCP attempted to take over Jinmen a few years later, but failed again. During the 1960 U.S. presidential elections, Kamoya and Matsu became part of the American political language when the two candidates, Vice President Richard Nixon and Senator John F. Kennedy disagreed on the protection of these two Pacific islands. Although both candidates agreed that the United States should protect Taiwan from a Chinese attack, they argued in two presidential debates whether the United States should defend Kamoi and Mazu. Kennedy said the islands were too close to the mainland and strategically indefensible and that the two rocks in the Pacific were not worth the loss of American lives. Nixon, however, said Americans had to protect the world against communism at any cost. If the communists took Kamoi and Matsu, what would they want next, he asked. Kennedy won the election, and Americans quickly forgot about Kamoi and Matsu. But American politicians could soon have the same debate now again if the CCP invades these two islands in the near future. What may embolden the CCP is that the protection of these two islands was excluded in the mutual defense treaty between the United States and Taiwan that was in effect from 1955 to 1980. The treaty was signed by President Eisenhower and terminated after the United States formally recognized mainland China under President Carter. 
Some of the content in the defense treaty was carried over into the Taiwan Relations Act. Given this historical background, the CCP may feel confident that if it attacks Jinmen and Mazu, the United States probably won't intervene militarily. But military actions are only part of Xi Jinping's overall Taiwan strategy. According to Yao Chen, a former lieutenant colonel staff officer of the Chinese Navy Command, Xi Jinping's new strategy is to declare sovereignty over Taiwan unilaterally. This is what Yao said in a recent media interview. Uh Mr. Yao also said that Taiwan has a strong military presence on Matsu Islands, and the islands have been well guarded. That's why Chinese PLA planes rarely fly over Matsu. He said the CCP will have to put up a good fight to take over Matsu. But without the U.S. military intervention to help Taiwan, the CCP will likely succeed. However, the CCP may use a different strategy for Jinmen or Kamoi. Being so close to the mainland, the island has many economic ties to Xiamen City, and the CCP already has bribed its way into gaining influence on the island. The CCP could exercise a soft takeover by asking the people on the island to hold a referendum and declare it a special region with autonomous rule. Earlier this year, the CCP released info that it would announce a new Taiwan strategy at the 20th National Congress. And a few weeks ago, Western media talked about the CCP contemplating attacking Taiwan in the fall. If there's any truth to it, I think they may be referring to military actions over these two islands. To summarize, by declaring sovereignty over Taiwan and taking over two small islands close to the mainland, Without risking a military confrontation with the United States, Xi Jinping may legitimately claim a third term. The above is only an analysis of a possible Taiwan strategy by the CCP. We don't know what will happen until it happens, and I certainly hope there won't be another war. I stopped teaching Chinese words at the end of my program because I'm not sure if this is something most of you are interested in. I love doing it, but it does take time uh, for me to do research. Please let me know your thoughts by voting on the community board. Based on the poll results, I'll adjust um, my programming accordingly. That's all for today. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.